Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you run that do file that I wrote and walked you through. And um, basically I have this data set of names that ran in newspapers. Um, and I've actually have names from two different years and I've already joined them up. So the name from the first year is name. And the name from the second year is you name for the name from the using data set. And I basically deleted all the other information just to sort through the data pretty easily once we run it. So I've sorted it on descending length of the string. So I have some pretty complicated strings at the top where I have, you know, Bakhmatev, Mary E., widow of George Bakhmatev, Russian ambassador to the United States. So this is one of the most complicated strings there is. And I just want to get Mary E. Bakhmatev, right? So, um, you know, Louis Brandeis, associate justice of the United States Supreme Court. Great, but I really just want Louis Brandeis, right? And of course, as we go to the bottom, they get much simpler. So, you know, we have George Davies, and, uh, you know, some of these people only are in one year, some are in both. Um, but, you know, like Max Schnitzer is in both years. Alice e. Camp, right? Here we have Camp period Alice e. That's a bad one. We uh, This is a mistake. So is Kip period rule op F. We actually want those to be, um, you know, Kip comma rule off F. So you have to look for some of those. Maybe, you know, look for multiple periods and maybe write some kind of string that looks for periods a certain distance apart from each other and look at that as something to look into. But basically, you can see that it's pretty normal once we get about, you know, a couple thousand in. Basically, you know, we're maybe up to here, a thousand in, we have, you know, some juniors and et cetera. You know, here's an example of a duplicate observation, WR Proctor 1, um, matched to William R. Proctor Jr. Uh, here's, you know, Marquise Curzon of Kettleston, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, just gonna run this and see what happens. And, you know, it might be tricky to get some of the first and last names off of there, but we're going to say what happens when we um, run this. What do we get? So splitting up a nickname, looking through all these different things, taking off the double commas and everything. Okay, and this is not going to work perfectly, but this is going to get you know 90 to 99 percent of your things straightened out. So of course, all these here, you know, these are pretty complicated. James M. Cox, Lawrence Maxwell, Solicitor General. You know, with the Wheelocks with their you know care of Beverly Robinson and some bank as trustee. You know, trust of John Jacob Astor. You know, let's see what happens here. So, like, trust of John Jacob Astor didn't work out so well. We have, you know, trust of. So maybe trust is something that should also be put in there to take out trust or TR period, things like that. But, you know, the Wheelocks came out. It's Morgan Dix Wheelock, Alice Wheelock, Mary Bakhmatev. These all came out pretty well. You know, Louis Brandeis Associate Justice, just Brandis Lewis, Lewis D., so on and so on. You know, a lot of these things. Okay, so, like, James M. Beck, Solicitor General of the United States, that didn't work so well. And it's pretty clear to me why that didn't work. It's because I just have, um, I just have the one comma, and this thing doesn't end in a period. Um, and solicitor general is not a string that I made to search for. Um, but you know, there's a couple solicitor generals in here. Then maybe I should look for that. So just you know, just to give you some idea, this is not super important. And besides, I've already matched James Beck between the two years, so I'm not so concerned that he's not matching up. But um, you know, most of these work pretty well. Thomas Fowler, Catherine F. Milbank. That doesn't work because we have two periods here. We have a uh, Milbank comma Thomas Fowler and it ends in a period and then it tells you who the guardian is. So if that period had been a comma, this would have worked just fine. We would have had Thomas Fowler, Milbank, but it's got a period there. So it can be kind of tedious to go through and, and um, knock out all the periods that should be commas. Here's something where we have the four children of, of um, Charles S. Howard each, one, two, three, and four. So that's a highly irregular string. You know, I wasn't going to write a whole program to to do that, but basically I'm getting that the last name is the four children of Charles Howard in each. So that's a mistake. But, um, you know, like I said, most of these are working out pretty well. So here's one that's Representative J. Charles Linthicum of Maryland. Um, and then, you know, he shows up in here as Linthicum, comma, Representative J. Charles of Maryland. And there's really nothing I can do about that unless I, you know, sort on. I'd have to come up with a string that treats of state name and representative and, and get those out of there. But anyway, that's pretty much how that works. So hopefully that's useful to people. Um, you'd have to tidy it up a bit to make it useful to your own data sets, but hopefully it takes a lot of the pain out of writing it from scratch for you. Okay, good luck.